I'm going to tell you guys right now, hopefully I don't have any lipstick on my teeth, but it's very possible. I keep checking, but this is kind of creamy lip product and you know, <laughs> I am notorious for getting lipstick all over my teeth. I think that's how my lips are shaped in my teeth. Anyway, <laughs> my apologies in advance. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the Lip Service Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Jessica and Amanda at the Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group. And for this project, I like to focus on my high-end-ish lipsticks, bullet lipsticks to be exact. And I am really terrible at finishing lip products like from start to finish. So I like to really only focus on using a quarter of what's left in the bullet for this project and then rolling them out. So it really helps me like cycle through my more expensive or not necessarily luxury, but more expensive lip items and cycle through them. So I like that's kind of how I like to do this project. I'm happy to say that I actually met my goal on additional three lip products this month and I am super close on a fourth one so I'm bringing in an additional item for that and somehow that's exactly what I did I thought that I was bringing in one more item on accident but no that's right so I'm bringing in four new lip products this month so we're going to end up with 11 but one I'm very very close to finishing <sighs> hitting my goal not finishing 100% hitting my goal Okay, let me share with you the lip products that I met my goal on. So the first one is from Urban Decay, and it is the Vice Lipstick in the shade Turn On. So here is the bullet, and here is the shade. So it was a very much more of a spring summer lip product. And I did meet my goal on this. It was pretty easy to hit my goal on this. This is a very creamy formula. And you know, it was an easy color to throw on anytime. You know, I think it's a pretty easy shade to pan, to be honest. I should try to finish this at some point because it's an old lip product. There's a, still a ton of product, anyway. Maybe next year I'll throw it in a project where I try to use like half of what's in here, like all year. Anyway, that's rolled out of this project. Okay, the next one is definitely a spring summer shade. It's very bright. This is from MAC. It's the Love at First Bite Amplified Creme Lipstick. So it's in this really fun, like fruity, flowery packaging. And this poor lipstick is broken. I broke it horribly. So here's the state of this lipstick. So I broke it and then I started using a lip brush to apply it because it was starting to get gouged out from me trying. Anyway. So I'm going against the grain to swatch this so I don't make it any worse. But there is the shade there. So I did meet my goal on this. I was very excited. It's very difficult to wear right now so i really wanted to work this out but yay i did meet the goal there and then this one i just measured today and realized i actually no this one was the one that i measured today and realized i met my goal on i met my goal on this one very early in the month this is the urban decay revolution lipstick in sheer lavender so it's this one here this is so pretty i really loved this mm-hmm Loved it. Oh. Yeah, there's n less in here than what was in, than what's in Turn On. So another one that I should probably put in a project next year to eventually try to work out of my collection fairly soon. Okay, the one that I'm super close to finishing, and I'll throw a picture over here. But this is, I'm wearing this today paired with another lippy in this project, which is this Bobbi Brown and Grenadine. This is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Inspiration. So it's a little mini and this is the shade. And I probably have like maybe two or three uses left on this. And because it's such a summer shade, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and roll in 
a sh another lip product for this one because I once I meet my goal on this it's it's um you know now I do have a trip to the beach coming up at the end of the month I don't know I probably won't save it for that I could because this would work really well for that but I may you know I do have some other lip products that I could say for that I don't know I haven't decided I feel like that's kind of it's kind of a difficult thing to plan for because I'm assuming I'm gonna want some lighter shades to wear there and I do have some lip products here that could work that still need some usage so I may save those instead and just try to get this one done that's probably what I'll end up doing okay so that one's almost done but I'm gonna go ahead and roll in a lip product for that I'm going to go ahead and take this these off and I'll show you what I still have remaining in this project I will go ahead and swatch this one again since I have a little bit left to go on this one product that I brought back last month that's from earlier this year it's the Mac satin lipstick and K3 Calderon so this was a limited edition lipstick that was a collaboration with a an influencer and this is a really beautiful beautiful lipstick gorgeous shade so it's one that I had met my goal on earlier this year so I went ahead and brought it back because I do want to meet my goal on this I haven't made a ton of progress since the last month I was working on those more summer shades but I'm hopeful that I can start working on this and get some usage on it it's just starting to be fall here and it's still hot and it's we're gonna hit like almost record temperatures of heat but I'm like pretending like it's fall I'm wearing the fall eyeshadow stuff anyway the next lip product is Becca ultimate lipstick love and petal and this is one that I could save to take to the beach I didn't show you the here is the lip and then here is the lip product this is another one of those really easy to wear lip lip shades right there it's so pretty love it love the formula so much then we have Charlotte Tilbury's hot lips 2 lipstick and JK magic and here's this amazing bullet packaging or component packaging I should say and then here's the shade this is a great mixing shade as well and here is the swatch and I haven't been telling you how I'm doing on those so for petal I am about I have a third left in what I need to finish on that I am very close on JK magic like I'm about as close on JK magic as I am on this and I actually was really tempted to bring in another lip product and I don't know I may do that I may go digging and see what else I can find because I kind of was tempted to bring another like newer lip product in because I was kind of jonesing to do that so I may do that because I'm super close on this like super super close as you'll probably see in the picture okay next up is by Dior this is their lacquer stick in the shade hit so it's this here I really do love this formula I made pretty decent progress on this in the last month here is the shade here this is a great color and this is a def definitely one I will be taking with me to the beach there's pretty there's a decent amount left that I need to finish I mean when I say decent there's still a quarter left and in, in kind of the the um the amount that I need to use up but this is a really easy color to throw on whenever you're you know bumming around a beach town so I think this is definitely one that I'll take with me now the next three I rolled in last month this is by Tom Ford it's the like boys lip color in Drake so it's a smaller component and here is the shade this is really nice it's kind of a sheer lip color and it's you know a purpley shade it's really nice it's great for whenever you don't want to go crazy dark especially if I've got a purple eye look 
but I don't, I can't wear a super dark color. It's great for that. And then from Bobbi Brown, as I mentioned earlier, I do have this over the Smashbox lip color and inspiration. This is crushed lip color in grenadine. So here's the component and here is a shade. So this is a darker shade. So I was going a little, I should say it's not even that it's more berry because it's not really super dark, but I was going a little bit outside my comfort zone whenever I brought this in. It's gonna be a little more challenging for me to wear this one, meet my goal on this one, but it's very pretty. And now, I didn't say, Drake I really haven't used very much. Now, Grenadine I have used several times. There is a little bit of progress on that. And then the, the, next, the last one that I brought in last month is by Hourglass. This is the Confession Lipstick in the shade if only. So I do have this like limited edition pink component that I got during the holidays year before last maybe. And here is the shade. So these won't, this one won't take me as long to hit my go on just because there's not as much product in these, but this is a really nice formula. So there we go. Yeah, and I do have much more progress on this than I do the other two that I brought in last month. So there's about a third of this that I've used up so far of what I need to use to hit my goal. So let me share with you the lippies that I have decided to roll in. Okay, the first one that I'm bringing in is another one from a from previously that I didn't hit my goal on. I was like, let me just see what I can do with this through the end of the year. And I will say anything that I don't hit my goal on that's still left in the project, I always roll over into the next year. I try to finish like lip products that are like seasonally appropriate. Like, so I'm gonna try to hit my goal on the ones that don't really fit the season. But I am gonna bring a, this one back that I was working on earlier this year. This is by Urban Decay. And this is the um, matte lipstick in After Dark. It's the Revolution matte lipstick in After Dark. So it's this one here. And here is the shade. This is, this was a bit challenging to wear but I do want to try to continue working on this. It's a beautiful color. It's great to wear with neutral eye looks. And I do have some palettes that I've rolled into my 365 days of, of eyeshadows that are neutrals. And so I think this would, the shades like this would work really well with that. So like even this look, which is a, cool leaning neutral this would be beautiful with it so i'm rolling that in and i'll just work off of my previous markings that i had for that one to see if i can hit my goal on it next up i'm bringing in a kat von d lipstick original kat von d kiss studded kiss lipstick that i've never used before this is a shade cathedral and this is beautiful so here is the bullet and then component and then here's the shade and this is a matte formula so it's going to take me a while to hit my go on this but this is a I've been wanting to use this like every fall winter I'm like oh, I need to use that shade and I never do and I mean this is a full bullet so I really want to get some use on this shade because it's so pretty anyway so I'm bringing this in. Next up is by Marc Jacobs, and this is the Lamarck Lip Creme in the shade Kate. So I just had this in my 365 Days of Lippies, and I was commenting about how beautiful the shade is and how I was surprised that I had never heard anybody talk about this particular shade. At least I hadn't. Maybe there were people that talked about it and I just never heard of them. But this is gorgeous. I love this color. So much, so much. So I want to get some use on it because I love it. Kate by Marc Jacobs. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to find something else to use. What do I want to use? I want to use something new. Okay, so the next little product that I'm bringing in is another one by Smashbox. 
And this is a newer lip product to my collection. This is the Be Legendary Prime and Plush Lipstick in the shade Stylist. So it comes in this packaging here. And here is the shade. So I wanted to bring something in that was a bit lighter than some of these other dark shades that I have. And there we go. This formula is beautiful. Beautiful. And the last lip color that I'm bringing in is very special to me. So before COVID hit last year, I was in Brooklyn. I was in New York City and I was doing, I was for work. I was there. I was uh, working with one of my direct reports, one of my associates. And we went to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. Now I'm very excited because Bite Beauty Lip Lab is actually coming to a mall very, very close to me. It's like 15 minutes from me. It's supposed to be coming sometime this month, apparently. I'm like, when? When is it coming? Because I need to know. I need to know. <sighs> anyway, so we went to the lip lab. We made an appointment in Brooklyn. This is like February before everything went crazy. And the associate that I was working with, it was her birthday like that week. So it was like perfect. We went for her birthday. We had planned to go multiple times before and it just worked out for us to go in February right before everything went on lockdown. And I created two lip colors and I've panned one previously. The cool thing about the lip lab is you can name your own lipsticks. And so I named this one Kiss Me I'm Turkish. And this is the shade of this one. And the cool, I guess the other cool thing is they come in these like pinky components and they are magnetic too. And this is the shade of the first one that I created. Not surprising, I'm sure, to anybody. So this other one is called J Loves. That's what I named it. And here is the shade. Again, I'm sure not surprising to any of you. So I want to work on this because I haven't panned this one yet. And I was like, I need to work on this one. So that is the shade. Hmm. It's a much more of a fall appropriate shade, whereas this one is more, you know, a, a bit more, it's lighter. It's not much lighter, but you know, I'll swatch this one right next to it so you can see. But this one's much more of a purple toned versus the other one, which is a bit more, you know, much more pink rose toned. So anyway, I want to use this one. Yeah, but you can see the top there. It says J Loves. Okay, so those are the five products I'm bringing in to this project. So one of them is a rollover from earlier this year. And then we have four new ones. It's a lot of the products that are in this project. But I really do think that I'm going to have, obviously, as I mentioned, this one, the Smashbox... Be Legendary Lipstick in Inspiration. I'm very confident will be rolled out. Like 100% will be rolled out. The Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in Petal. I'm pretty confident will be rolled out. This one will definitely be rolled out. The Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 Lipstick in JK Magic. No, those are the three I'm very confident will be rolled out. This one I'm thinking could be, it's the Dior Attic Lacquer Stick and Hit. So this one is a possibility, but I'm not 100% counting on it. But the other three I am fairly confident will be rolled out and that will leave me with four, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll leave me with my 10, right? Did I bring in 13? I brought in, I have 13 that I'm working on now. Is that right? Yeah, I have 13. Ooh, lipstick heavy. <laughs> I'm crazy. But yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I'm right about these three. And maybe I can roll this one out. Maybe. That would be amazing. 
because I don't think there's going to be any of these others that get rolled out. I'd be surprised. So anyway, that is my update for this month. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. your brother. My hair tie should probably be more interesting, huh? It's one of your favorite things to play with. I don't think he's going to stay. <laughs> Cat hair. <laughs> you love snapping that thing. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for the lips. No, I can't speak. Where are you? Oh, where are you going? Why'd you take it down there? Why? Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update. Mumble, mumble. You're just interested in this thing. He walks around with it like high and mighty with it in his mouth. Oh. <gasps> he can jump high. So he's like, <laughs> I want to play. Get in here. Get in here. He's always stealing it from you. Steal it back. Come on, Ziggy. Get it. Wow. Come on, Ziggy, get it. Get it, Ziggy. He's just staring at it like a dumbo. Come on. He's got it back in his mouth. Ziggy, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. He jumped so high. Come on, get it. He's so mad that I'm keeping it from him. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, you can have it now. That was good. That was good. You can take it. Okay. So I like to really only work on using up half. I'm sorry, not half. This is another... Urban Decay Vite. But this is the Smashbox B Legendary Lipstick. Lips. This is the, this. Mm. Do I have lipstick on you? No, I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Oh my God, it's a miracle. 
It is a miracle. I always have to hold my arm up. Oh my God. Why is my arm so heavy? Why is it so heavy? Why is he on the floor? Why is he on the floor? Okay. Bye.